Hey there. I am going through all of my uh, gear and things that are planning to go to Scotland with me for two and a half months of basically backpacking and peak backing, climbing around, um, carrying everything with me. And there's another video about the clothing that I'm taking, but this video is going to be basically about the, the gear, kind of like the big three items. Um, the first big of the big three, the tent, isn't actually going to be in the video. I'll tell you what it is. It's the Mont Bell Stella Ridge two person. Um, and I got that specifically for this trip because it's more of a like a mountaineering tent. It's a lot more durable and waterproof. And I think it'll be a lot more stable in the wind. There's not a lot of forest cover in Scotland. So I wanted something that wasn't going to shake and flap in the wind, uh, which happens a lot with a lot of other single wall ultralight tents. Plus, this one's a double wall. So hopefully it'll be a little bit drier and warmer um, than like a single wall tent would be in wet conditions, wet cold conditions. So I'm not going to show you that because... It's downstairs, it's in my husband's pack, he's already packed his stuff, and I'm not free to pull it out to show you. But I will give you a review later on how well we like it um, after the trip. So, second big three item, my backpack. Uh, it is the Gossamer Gear Silverback. Um, I love this pack. Uh, I know it's not everybody's favorite because it is a little on the heavy side, but I like it because it's super rugged and durable. Uh, my first one I used for the entire CDT and the entire ODT, and if you know anything about the Oregon Desert Trail, you know just how brutal and rugged that trail is. It like makes the CDT look like a walk in the park. Uh, so I used it for both of those, and that basically still looked new afterward. So I got a new one for this trip, um, and it has the removable lid. I know not everybody likes these. I really like it personally because um I don't know I just like to have this place like the if you've used other customer gear um uh, packs you know how they kind of have those like in like I don't even know how to say it, inset pocket where it just zippers into the part that folds over the top of the pack and then they're really tight and you can barely like get your hand in there and so like this one doesn't get tight like that so I really like this plus you can easily detach it and I can just like make that a day pack or um, at least like take my valuables into the store like when I'm, I have to leave my backpack outside. Um, so I really like this for that. It's not specifically convertible into a day pack. Don't get me wrong. That's not like a feature. I just figure out a way to clip it to my body and make it a day pack um, on my own. <laughs> um, then I have my trash compactor bag pack liner inside it. Oh, there goes my hand sanitizer. Bottle hand sanitizer. Really important. And then, um, so you've seen, if you've seen Gossamer Gear Packs, they use the, like a sit pad type of thing for the frame. It fits into this pouch. I usually take that out and put my sleeping pad in there. So this is the Thin Light, which is I think the eighth inch piece of foam pad. And normally I would just carry the torso length pad, uh, for a through hike because I don't ever trust air pads. Um, but this time, and hopefully this doesn't come back to bite me, my plan is to use this Mont Bell Alpine Pad. Um, I have actually been using this one for years, and it's been super durable, and I've never had a problem. I got a new one specifically for this hike, so it would be brand new with no wear and tear on it. Um, I got the 90 centimeter because then it's basically just a torso length. So I'll have a torso length air pad, but then I also have this thin light pad underneath uh for insulation for the rest of my body and also just like an extra little like barrier against pokey objects that might come through the bottom of the tent. Um, I figure because we're going to Scotland and we're not through hiking, we're just like hiking around, that if something happens to this, I can just buy another piece of foam, I hope, uh, and just go back to the foam. But we're giving that a shot. So it is a little bit, it makes it a little bit heavier, but um, especially when we're not looking to like log big miles, we're just hiking from peak to peak or I mean we're doing like the West Highland Way um easy trail uh I was willing to take the risk on the air pad just for some extra comfort I'm getting old okay like let's just say it how it is I've also got the removable pack uh shoulder strap pockets that Gossamer Gear makes I think this one's called the bottle rocket and this one's called the feed bag um I think I have another of their new vaporwave shoulder pockets so I might swap the bottle rocket out for that if my phone fits in it um because I don't use the smart water bottles I'm not the smart water what smart water I'm not that either I'm not the smart water bottle girl 
So when I put like my thermos or my mirror bottle in here, it like smacks me in the chin because it's just, I mean, it's designed for a smart bottle because that's what most people use. Um, so I end up usually just sticking my phone and snacks in this anyway. So if the other regular rectangular shoulder pocket holds my phone, I might swap that out. My husband might use this, but, um, we'll see how that goes. Um, but that's my pack. It's a, I think it's a 55 liter. I think it's 55. I think it's slightly smaller than the Mariposa, but I always feel like I can get way more in this than the Mariposa just because of the way it's configured. Um, and so I wanted to take the bigger pack just because I am going to have to carry a lot more gear item or not necessarily gear items but a lot more items because uh it's gonna be colder wetter edge season you know more like a three season hike and then also um they do have a kind of their version of general delivery but i don't it it seems maybe a little harder to use i'm not sure i might try it out there i'm not sure but if i'm not using boxes i'm going to be carrying like some items with me that i wouldn't normally carry and i'll be carrying the whole way like a pair of shoes I can't hike a thousand miles on one pair of shoes, which is about what we estimate we'll be hiking. So I'm going to be carrying an extra pair of shoes until my first pair dies. Um, these are the Topo, are these the Terra Venture? Can't even remember what I got now. Yes, the Terra Venture. Topo Terra Ventures. Uh, because I think that the running shoes are super, super expensive uh, in the UK, and I'm not even sure if I can get these. So I'm excited to give these a shot. I think that these Vibram soles are going to be really good when we're doing Monroe's because a lot of them are scrambly and the wet rock will be really slippery. So uh, I'll be carrying those, <laughs> which I'm not super stoked on carrying an extra pair of shoes, but such as it is, right? Okay. Um, for the water filter, I'm going to stick with Sawyer, but I'm doing something a little different just because I don't anticipate needing to carry a lot of water. And I think that there will be water coming from... Um, urban sources a lot instead of just carrying my uh, mirror bottle my metal bottle that I normally have a stainless steel and then a bunch of the bags uh, because normally I just would carry like four of these and then just filter I'm carrying this which is like a bottle with a built-in filter from Sawyer and I'm going to carry one of these too as backup uh, but uh, basically you just like flip the thing here and drink and it's not like hard to like suck out of it and the filter is just built into the, it's basically just like a regular Sawyer filter and it just has a little straw so it reaches the bottom, but it also unscrews. And so um, basically I can unscrew this and use it with that filter bag as well. Um, so that if I do want to filter water out of the bag, like to make noon or whatever, or coffee instead of, um, uh, like if I actually want to filter water instead of just drinking it out of this bottle, like. Um, I'll be able to do that. So it's a little bit more modular. So I'm hoping I like the system. I haven't, I started out with a system similar to this on the calendar triple crown and I liked it until like I froze the filter um, because it was cold and I got tired of hiking with a bottle in my pocket all day long. That's a different story. And so I'm also taking, um, normally I have the little inflatable pillow, but I found this from Maldal. And it's, it's like a fleece, like travel pillow. And it, it, I think it weighs actually less than the inflatable pillow or maybe the same, but it has this little like zipper. And so you can open it up. And then basically what you do is you stuff things in it to make it a pillow. So I actually think this will be really cool. Like I originally was like, oh, I'll just take that for the plane. And then I was like, well, I should be able to use this on the trail too. And so like, I'm hopeful that this will be like a more cozy pillow system for me. I am a pillow princess, so I'm always constantly questing for the better backcountry pillow. So we're going to give that a shot and see how it works out. I'm also using the pack stacks uh, from Hill Sound. I've posted about these before, um, but I got the pack stack pro and they have two sizes or well, they do have two sizes. So there's the 40 liter and the 60 liter. I get the 40 liter because that fits my pack. Um, but then they have a tall and a short in both of those as well. And so I have a 40 liter tall and a 40 liter short. And um, basically what those do is, let's go ahead and open one. Um, they're actually really, uh, what is it called? Innovative. Which there's not a lot of innovative products anymore. I feel like, like who has redesigned the stuff stack? Um, but they are not a rectangle or cylinder, I guess cylinder, 
they're not a cylinder. Wow, I thought this would be easier to open and show you. They are designed to fit into the pack the way that the pack fits into your back. So you've got this like flat edge along the back and that goes across your back and then the front is curved and a zipper. And these are the Packstack Pro, so these are waterproof. They're like seam tape. Uh, and I've been using these. I had a, one of their um, their sample models uh, that they sent to me last year, I believe. And I really liked using it. They're not heavy, which you'd think some of this would actually be pretty heavy. Obviously, it's heavier than a Cuban fiber, well, what is it, Dyneema now. Um, they're heavier than a Dyneema stuff sack. Um, but as far as like, you know, compared to like my waterproof uh, sack for my sleeping bag, like these are comparable, if not lighter. Um, so I, I will use one for clothing. I'll use one for food. I may use one for my sleeping bag instead of this because, you know, the cylinder always makes that weird gap in the bottom of your bag. And because it rains so much there, I don't want to just do the loose stuff thing that I would do otherwise. Um, so we'll see. Um, but I'm really excited to use these pack stacks in um, Scotland I think they're gonna be really useful they're really great for organizing too like they keep things separated better um, than I mean I guess stuff sacks do too but I like the way they fit in the backpack and then we'll use the smelly proof bags um, they don't really have bears there so it will just be for more for rodent control um, they do have like things called bothies which are basically um, shelters uh, similar to the hut system that's in New Zealand, if you've been there. Um, so um, they have bothies, but you know, everywhere there's shelters, there are mice. So uh, hopefully these will be useful for keeping away the mice. Got my pack cover uh, from Montbell. Um, this is a, this is just a pack cover. It's great. Keeps my pack dry, which is what it's supposed to do. And then I am using one of the seamless down huggers from Montbell, and this is. I always have to look because they have a different, like they kind of have a different naming system and I can never remember which one, maybe it doesn't even say on here. Oh yeah, here it is. So it is the Seamless Down Hunger 900 number two, which basically means that its comfort rating is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And for me, my comfort rating is more like 38 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit, but that's basically what we anticipate the coldest temperatures being is about that temperature and because we're carrying the warmer tent the Stellar Ridge should be really good at holding in weight I've got the like air pad plus um thin light so a little bit of extra R value there and then um in my clothing video you'll see I talk about the different layers and uh, that I have I have like warmer sleep clothes than normal right now booties etc um, so I'm pretty sure, I mean, this is what I used on the Tuscarora. I did have to wear like a lot of extra like down layers a few of the nights, but we were having temperatures that were below freezing. So I think as long as um, we're not experiencing unseasonably cold temperatures, I'm going to be totally fine with this. So uh, the only other thing are waterproof cases. I've got a couple of these uh, for electronics because um, we'll be carrying like a battery pack um phone obviously and uh, cords and um i have like headphones um just so i can continue to do my podcasting job uh if we are at a hotel with internet and i can set it up so um the only other i think that's actually all the gear i won't be taking dragging poles just because they don't fit in our check bag and you can't carry them on so i won't have tracking poles although i may acquire them over there we'll see how much I feel like I need them. And aside from that, that's basically everything we're taking. Oh, obviously I didn't show my first aid kit. So first aid kit, ditty bag, all of that. Um, it's already kind of split up because I have the items that TSA doesn't allow, like already downstairs in the check bag, like things like my little knife and um, our tent stakes and tweezers and liquids, all that stuff is down there. Um, but then my regular ditty bag with like my spoon and I got this little micro headlamp from Montbell for this trip because I don't anticipate doing night hiking. Um, and first aid supplies and that sort of stuff is all in here in this little Cuban fiber bag. And that's actually it now. <laughs>